Hey and welcome to TGIG and this is Gaming Update. So with E3 being last week and this whole kerfuzzle between the Xbox One and the PS4, two major retailers in Europe, Media Market and Bowl, have listed the PS4 for a November 13th release. Now this seems very likely to be the real release date because it would be a perfect time and if it was a placeholder, it wouldn't have a specific release date like that. However, this is not an indicator of the actual release until Sony actually confirms it. But Europeans should be ready for the PS4 to release this November, just in time for the next Call of Duty Ghosts. So what do you think? Numerous European retailers listing the console for November 13th could hint that this really is the date for the PS4. Sony has not officially announced the console release date yet, but they did say it will be coming out later this year. So another release date has actually been found in The Sun, which is a newspaper, and it shows a full advertisement for the PlayStation 4, which announces that Sony's next console will be available from November 21st, and this is a Thursday. But an advert in a national paper is far from an un unreliable source, given that Sony will have had at least approved it and probably created the ad themselves. So, earlier this month, Xbox One was actually tracking ahead of PS4 in Amazon's video game's best-selling charts. But then, E3 happened and everything changed. Just hours after Sony's victorious E3 press event, Sony's machine overtook Microsoft's amid stories of cancelled pre-orders. But now, just hours after Microsoft announced that it is ditching its internet and DMR requirements, public opinion seems to be swaying back in Microsoft's favour. So, the Xbox One Day One Edition is currently the second best selling item in the video game section, behind Sony's PS3 title, The Last of Us. PS4 has now been relegated to third. The highest ranked next gen game is Watch Dogs on PS4 in 8th, followed by the Xbox One version of the Call of Duty Ghosts in 13th, Battlefield 4 on Xbox One in 14th, and Xbox One exclusive Forza 5 in 17th. So, PlayStation Plus isn't available everywhere, and neither is the PlayStation Store. And although Sony has made every effort to roll features out to every country interested, it's not always possible. So, a user asked on EU Store post whether or not he'll be able to play online in Romania, and Fred Dutton answered apologetically, Unfortunately, at this time, gamers in countries which do not have a store cannot access online multiplayer features. However, we are considering every measure to offer PlayStation Store services to these territories as soon as possible. To clarify, the affected territories are Bahrain, Lebanon, Romania, Oman, Slovakia, Malta, Cyprus and Iceland. And as this is a EU specific blog, there's actually likely to be other areas worldwide where there is an issue. So yeah, that's everything for the gaming update today. Uh, tell me in the comments below which one do you prefer, have you even pre-ordered? the Xbox One or the PS4, so tell me down below. And stay tuned to TGIG for more information on the latest games. And until next time, adios.